Alright, this will be Unpack Your Bags, Galatians 4, 4, and 5. Hey, how's it going? Hope it's going well. This will be a 365-day devotional. This will be for May 15th, 2018. It is titled, Unpack Your Bags. When the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own children. Galatians 4, 4 through 5. Do you question your place in God's family? Do you fear his impending rejection? What about wrestle with doubt-laced questions? Am I really in God's family? What if God changes his mind, reverses his acceptance? Lord knows he has reason to do so. We press forward only to fall back. We renew our resolve only to stumble again. We wonder, will God turn me out? Hmm. Boyfriends do. Employers do. Coaches kick players off the team. Teachers expel students from school. Parents give birth to children and abandon them at a bus station. How do we know God won't do the same? What if he changes his mind about us? After all, he is holy and pure and we are anything but. Is it safe to unpack our bags? God answered this question at the cross. When Jesus died, the heavenly vote was forever cast in your favor and mine. He declared for all to hear, This child is my child. My covenant will never change. Unpack your bags. He's a loving father always and forever. His love never changes for us. He may become disappointed in us sometimes and discipline us, but he loves you unconditionally. And, oh man, it is uh, totally, totally awesome to know that. So unpack your bags. You can stay a while. You can stay a while here in the presence of me, in the presence of God, and in eternal life in heaven among all the other Christians and the believers. Uh, hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Unpack your bags, Galatians. Galatians 4. Right, Mrs. Stormy? Mrs. Stormy unpacked her bags. But you'll probably have to go here in a few months, right? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You can stick around. If you need somewhere to hang out, you can hang out here. Cool? Yeah, so unpack your bags and your father is going to provide for you a such cool place to hang out and be together with him and hang out with him. So make sure to talk to your father enough. So important. And be in the word of God. Be in the word of God. Talk to your father. Pray, pray, and pray. Pray throughout the day. Especially if you're surrounded by uh, enemy or stuff that's coming at you and you can see it. Just pray about it. Just say, Jesus. <laughs> Just say, Jesus. Good song about that. Uh, you'll hear that a lot. Like in even action movies or if something bad's about to happen, they'll go, Jesus Christ. And it's right. They call on Jesus Christ even without it being a Christian music. Because it's just, it's normal. It's just, we revert to our Father, to to calling on our Father or Abba or, you know, we don't go Mom or anything. We go Jesus Christ or Jesus. Just call on His name if you need help. And He'll be there to help you. And He will give you that knowledge. He'll give you that Holy Spirit to teach you and to be able to discern good and bad and what to say to a specific person. But uh, be a good listener. And you know the most important is to show them that unconditional love that they've never ever experienced before. So maybe through them, through your love that you have for them that they might see Jesus. They might see God in you and then they start on that path. I remember me starting on that path. Man. It was long, but it was a journey. It was a cool one, and it worked. Uh, people planted seeds way back before I even really started, uh, but it's awesome. The love of our Heavenly Father. And that's all we need to do is stay focused on that, and uh, really, you just do that, and once you're stay focused on that and you're obedient to everything else, everything else just falls into place. The minute you get away from that, you sway from the focus on God and what the Word of God says. Uh, that's when you open up opportunities for uh, the enemy to come in or to get hurt. 
and all that. So you don't do that. Your patience, you patient and you pray about things and you get wise counsel. But really the wisest counsel you can get has always been the Holy Bible. The Holy Bible and prayer. Cool. And use patience. Hmm. Yeah, so a lot of these messages are for me, so I try to do that. It's a struggle sometimes with the patience, but the weeks have been going by quick, and it's unfolding so perfect because he's going to blow my mind with something even greater than I expected. Uh, whether it's in the relationships or a uh, job or school opportunity, uh, it's just going to happen the right way. It's going to be so cool. Yeah, when you hear the good things come to those who wait, it is true. I mean, you think you missed out on something by not purchasing that or asking that person out? I guarantee you, if you were a Christ, you did not miss out on something. Uh, there is something way better waiting for you. It's really cool. All right, I'm going to get out of here. That's Max Akita's book, God is With You Every Day. Uh, I should just have a book called God is With You Every Day by me. Uh, <laughs> Or something, I don't know. Holy Bible. Jesus and God gets the credit. And the disciples, the apostles, the prophets, they get the credit. God gets the credit. He gets the glory. He uses us as vessels. He uses Max and all the other wonderful, wonderful, anointed pastors out there. And all of his people that are working to spread the gospel, the word of God. Um, yeah. Through our love. Yeah, they'll know. They'll know. So it's through our love. So, all right. I surrender. I'm out of here. Cool. Cat action, cat action. Been a long day. Doing it again tomorrow. Have fun. Love you as always.